Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy PTM Ado back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to the boy, my first time buying a hooker by Timeless Tim. I call like this is a crazy story time, but hear me out. Before we get into this, I know it's been two days with no PTM content. I know you lot have been going crazy, missing me, I know. PTM, when's the next reaction video? PTM, when's the next reaction video? Well, I guess it's come early and it's come today, so don't beg, it's disgusting. But yeah, without further ado, like, comment, share, subscribe. You lot know the raw da 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 deal. And yeah, man, let's get right into this little bit into this reaction video. Oh, give me a sec, man. I might even edit this out. Oh, I lacked. I lacked. I lacked. I should have known. I should have known. Yeah, this is a hood classic. I'll probably edit this out. Yeah, man, let's go. Wait a minute. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. House Vegas. Whoa. City. Never sleeps. People come from all over the world just to act a fool. Oh, you like the gamble? Not a problem, my guy. Spend that. I can't lie. I need to go Vegas at least once, man. Like, just not for the crazy shit, but I just need to go Vegas, bro. Everybody loses their shit in Vegas, bro. Like, it just entices me so much. It looks crazy. Bad. Oh, you like strip club? Yo. Mm. Shorty's damn near butt naked, my boy. Oh, you like the party party? Best nightlife in America. Yo. Behind the the glamour, there is the dark side. Reason why Vegas is known as Sin City. I'm Sin City. The gambling addiction, the sex trade, the crime, the violence, and lastly, the prostitution. When I was a young kid. I thought Vegas was a... See? I got one friend who, and nah, I won't even call him a friend. I'll call him, I'll call, I won't even call him a friend because if I call him a friend, that links me to the crime. And I am not part of this, bro. I am not part of this. But I got one friend who lives for this. Not a friend, like I said. I got, I know somebody who lives for this lifestyle, bro. He's like, like his whole purpose, everyone has a purpose. And this nigga's lifestyle is to go to a club, bro. I just tell him, bro, chill, bro. You're gonna get some, you're gonna get some. Calm down, bro, for real. Place where everybody goes to have a time of their lives. And that, my God, is where this story ends. Let's this go, Tim. Story, I'ma take you back, back to my first trip to Vegas. So it was a few years back, no, at the time, my closest cousin was getting married. So I'm at the crib, and then my phone goes off. Hello? Yo, Tim, it's your favorite cut. What's up, Jason? What's up? Guess what? You see when they call you like this, and they're like, ah, they either want a favor. You see when somebody calls your phone like that? They either want a favor, or they want you to do a madness with them. So just bear in mind, next time your phone rings like that, just know you're in for a call for somebody saying, yeah, what's up, what's up? Nigga, that what's up means, yo, can I get some money? Or, yo, can I get, like, some, can I get some, like, ugh, fucking brain lag, bro. Why am I lagging so much today, bro? I'm lagging so much. Breakdown, but let's play. My boy, I'm getting married, kid. Dude. Damn, stupid. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, cuz. Congratulations. Listen, I need you, bro. What you need? I need a bachelor party. Stay less. Now as requested, my job was to plan the greatest bachelor party there ever was. So I started thinking, okay, Tim, what's the best place to have a bachelor party? You gotta have money mm -hmm. for Vegas. Man, oh, wait, they got the best strip clubs, my guy. Ah, too close. What about Miami? Yeah. Oh. Love me some warm weather. Oh, Vinny hit me. I need to go Miami. I'm telling you lot. Hey, you lot, comment down below where I should go this summer, bro. I'm telling you, Miami or LA or South Asia, bro. South Asia is not moving me. Them guys can stay right there, bro. But I'm t now South Asia is like Bangladesh and them, man. Yeah, I'm good off that, bro. Good off that. But yeah, man, this summer I need to go somewhere, man. I just don't know where to go. I can't lie. If, if my American guys want me to come out to America, just comment down below. Drop some of you off in Beeble. Hit the strips, like, not the strip clubs, like, hit the strips, like, we call the strips, like, the roads and shit. Hit the strip. Yeah, you know, yeah. 
What's better than Viva Las Vegas? Viva Las Vegas. Told my cousin told him about the idea, and homie was loving it. But here's the problem: flying to Vegas costs money. So money. I got a job. So a few weeks go by, and I get to purchase my ticket. Now, lucky for your boy, I got first class ticket, my guy. First class on Spur. Just in case you don't know, ain't no first class on Spur Airlines. Plane so damn cheap, they don't even offer peanuts for free. Did ask? Even asking for water costs money. So we bought the plane, fly all the way to the West Coast, and we finally make it to the West Coast. Hey, Tim got See, we're in Vegas for real. So we get a taxi. Now, fellas, if you ever go to Vegas, quick tip, never get a taxi. These fools would always take a long way to oh. charge you a buck. So we finally make it to a hotel, check into our rooms, and then it was time to part. First thing we did was spend that money. I can't lie. I don't get how niggas do that, though. They land in a country the first day, and they hit the strip, bro. Me, like, I'm, I get tired from traveling, bro. I don't get how people do it. Like, me, like, the moment I touch base in a country, I'm hitting the Z's, bro. I'm hitting the Z's, bro. Showering, slapping on some new fit, and going to bed, bro. I'm hitting the Z's, Z's. You know what I'm trying to say? But these don't be hitting crazy, Money, my God. Come on, please, God. Let this be my lucky day. Yes! I won. I guess tonight's a lucky night, baby. So next, we headed over to the club, and we started. Yo, hook it. Remember, the city that never sleeps, right? So we up right around 2 a.m. in the morning, and your boy was lit. So I'm chilling, and this beautiful lady comes up to me. Hi, I'm Paris. You here for business? Oh, pleasure. Oh, <laughs> sure you this bad. Oh, I'm here for all the smoke, baby. Oh, I like you. Now here's the thing. I'm a screen ninja. So my spotty sense started tingling. Hold up, wait a minute. This shorty's awfully nice to me at this time of the night. And by the way, she dressed in a short skirt, titties out, booty popping, long heels, red bottom. Mm -mm. It all hit me. Now for the uninformed, Vegas is infamously known for having escorts, AKA pause, rewind, rewind. Fuck my pee. Oh, I thought it was cool, bro. Hit me. Now, for the uninformed, Vegas is infamously known for having escorts, aka. I can't lie. Ah, bro. Fooling. Imagine fooling in love with a hooker, bro. Imagine that. Imagine. Hey, let me just put you like, in a scenario. Just picture this in your head. Like, picture this like Polo G. I'm saying, imagine you're in Vegas, right? You're in Vegas. First time. And your first time is with a hooker. Bro, imagine that ends up being your shooty, like you're locked in. I don't think that could ever be a shooty, bro. I don't get how guys wife hookers, bro. It's impossible, bro. How can you wife a hooker, bro? You can't turn no hoe to a housewife. More time, I just do that the other way. Shout out Dave, bro. I can't turn no hoe to a housewife. More time, I just do it the other way. Shit, bro. I don't get how niggas turn hoes to housewives, bro. It's impossible, bro. It's like one girl that tried to say, she tried to tell me, hey, nah, I was about, but I reformed. My giga, my, pause, my nigga, once a treesh, always a treesh. You're always gonna be a treesh, bro. You treeshed once, you're over a treesh for life, bro. A hookers. Now the problem is, most people think prostitution is legal in Nevada, which is true and untrue. See, it's only permitted in a handful of licensed brothels in 10 of the state's 16 counties. Oh, Vegas. Mm -mm. Vegas is in Clark County, my boy. That's illegal. And oh, shit. For soliciting prostitution gives you up to six months in jail and a fine of up to a thousand dollars. So, Tim, are you really gonna risk your freedom for some cooch? If you, I know some sickles, bro, that will risk one night's worth of free, just one night's of pleasure for six months of freedom. And them boys need to get checked out, bro. Risking your freedom for one night of cooch for six months, you're down bad. You're down bad. You know what we say? You're gonna get some, my boy. But I'm even dumb. So I figured, why not? I'm in Vegas, baby. So I get to my brother, your lamp. You wanna play a prank on Jason? What you got in mind? So my brother and I came up with the Aww. dumbest idea. We paid Paris to hit on cuz. So Paris goes over to Jason and starts working on magic. Now Jason's having a ball. Yo, Tim, you right, dog? This is our lucky night. You see Shorty over there? She's all over me. And get this right, her name's Paris. Get the heck out of here. Hey, don't. Paris is one of. 
Paris is such a hooker name, bro. How can a shorty be named Paris, bro? She's not, bro. She's named after a whole city, bro. She, uh, she a tree. She a tree. Shorty a tree, bro. Any nigga that falls in love with a shorty called Paris, I feel sorry for your ass. You're already a tree. You're already a tree. Boy, oh boy. You're already a tree. <laughs> You're with a tree, bro. From the first line she says to you, "My name is Hi, Hi Tim. How you doing? My name is Paris." She's a tree, like another shorty. If another shorty's name is Ah uh, Ah uh, Ah uh, Ah uh, uh. Hi Tim. Hi PTM. My name is China. She a tree. Hi Hi PTM. My name is India. She a tree. Why are your parents naming you after a city or a country, bro? You're a tree. That is just the most, bro. It's like GTA. What's the GTA stripper called? The one that. Uh. <laughs> hey, what's the GTA stripper called, bro? Oh, you know. Oh, this is bringing back a memory, bro. Oh, this is bringing back a memory. Not Cindy. Not Cindy. The redheads, bro. The ones that do the stripper dances, bro. This is what it reminds me of. How can a shorty be named Paris, bro? Your shorty's name is Paris, India, China. You're good off that. What do you think, stupid? Come on, bro. So Jason goes back to having a blast. I go use the bathroom. Then I get a couple more drinks and come back. Where's Jason? So I get to my brother, Yolanda. You see Jason? I thought he's with you. With me? I was in the bathroom. No, we stopped. No way he slept with Harry. See, Jason's been drinking a little too much. And something about alcohol makes you make the dumbest decisions. So I get outside, look around. Jason's nowhere to be seen. Oh, damn. What we gonna tell his fiance? So we get upstairs, get to his room. Jason, you in there? Jason. But he was answering. So we get downstairs, get to the front desk. What is happening? to enter my cousin's room. Or the code in the hotel policy, only the owner can have the keys to access the room. Damn. So we get back upstairs and knock on the door some more. Jason, you in there? Open up. But still. If he no slept with her, he's no, caught. What you think, Tim? Should we call the cops? Yeah. So I dial 911. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, my cousin is Miss. And then it hit me. Wait a minute. The last person I left with Jason was a hooker. Now, if I tell the cops, I'm going to have to self incriminate myself. Ah, uh, you ain't self snitching. Obviously, you can't call the police. Hey, he getting something, though. Person while you're trying to get booty. They're saying GTA, my boy. So, my guy. For real. I got one question for you. What would you do? Call the cops and self incriminate? Nah. Oh, hope to God the homie's good. See, the problem is, Vegas is known for having too many stories of people getting all their valuables stolen after being drugged by escorts and pimps. So, look at my brother. He looks back and we decide F it. We're gonna have to break into the hotel room. So we start banging the door. Jason, open up! We're making some more. Jason! Jay! And then the door finally gives. We can start. And this fool's laid out sleep. What the? We out here working to death and this fool is knocked out sleeping? But thanks. So this nigga never even slept with our shoe. Us was good. So we head back to our rooms, went to sleep, and then it was the next morning. Yo, Jay, you remember last night? Bro, my head is killing me. For real? You mean you don't remember? Nah. Last thing I remember was we were in the club and I was talking to, I think, Paris. So come to find out, Jason blacked out. And to everyone's surprise, Paris took the homie all the way back to his room, tucked him in, and left. But an angel. So Paris, if you're still out there, thank you, girl. We owe you. That one. I guess it's true what they say. Never judge a book by its cover. Nah, bro. Once a tree show is a tree. Damn, so Paris a good hooker. Damn, bro. W Paris in the chat. Hey, W Paris in the charter. Charter. I need the Max Queen. But yeah, man. Shit. That's a crazy story time. Like, I don't get it, bro. How do niggas actually fall for the trap? It's a trap, bro. How you fall for the hooker trap, bro? It's a cycle, bro. Once you get some one time, my nigga, how are you paying for some, bro? You're good off that. You're actually good off that, bro. Paying for some, you cannot get any lower, bro. I think you've hit rock bottom, bro. But it's alright, though. Hey, you, man. Is so there for more? the rest of the trip, we learned our lesson, spent the next two days dressed in white to thank God. Flew back home. I need to go to Vegas, man. Now, Not for that, though. Was my first trip to Vegas. But always remember what happens in Vegas stays, stays in Vegas. 
I, I can't lie, you just broke the whole rule. Man said what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But you just baited out that your cousin Jason for his bachelor party went and go, go got a hooker. You paid for a hooker. Hey, Tim, you, you're, you're backwards, my boy. You're backwards. That literally just defies the whole purpose of whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But you, man, that's PTM back after a two-day bender. I was really gone, like really out of it. But yeah, man, hope you lot enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and comment down below what you want me to react to next. And on that note, PTM out. Peace.